So, but it's not just Harvey Weinstein. It's all over the place yeah. where people are in powerful positions. And it's the abuse of power is what it's about. The thing is, when you put the sexual aspect on top of that, it becomes a horror show. And it, be, it goes way beyond careers, and it goes way beyond all sorts of things. Like, but it's not just the Harvey Weinsteins or anybody else. It's like part of a kind of a currency where people use, you know, sexual power plays, but also this idea of, you know, saying I can absolutely take your entire career away from you, which is not so much that your aspirations won't happen. It's that where do you go from there? Do you stop doing it? Do you allow yourself to be beaten down or whatever it is? It's the abuse of power is what it's about. You, you had these voices that were very lonely some years ago, 10 years ago, saying, you know, this, this guy and that thing. And they were shut down, shut out. And well, then I, you have happens. to be very careful. You can't go running around saying people did stuff that you don't know that they did. I so there's a certain that. amount that you can't but do. But something happened, did it not, Brendan, that, that, that allowed the tree to grow in order for people to see it, to allow people to, to talk no, it about always, it? No, it always just needs something for the, you know, so suddenly the dam bursts and that's it. But I was watching Have I Got News For You and Joe Brand, I thought, was uh, chairing it during the week and she said something about the insidious nature of somebody else had been called out for something relatively minor. Yes. Um, and what she said was that, and I thought it was really properly human and a way hopefully that we can kind of all cop onto ourselves. It's not so much the big things that you can, you know, you, they have to be, obviously rape is rape. But where people are insidi you know, insidiously all the time poking at, at, say, women in a particular job, and there's always just a little kind of a dig, or the little poke, or the little putting in your place, it wears you down. So it's not the individual thing so much as a kind of systemic, all the time being at the butt of the joke. It's bullying at, uh, in any other way. Yeah. And when, as I say, once you put the sexual kind of predatory stuff on top of that, it's a horror show. So I think it's been unraveled. I actually think that this... It will be a, there will be a sea change. Yeah, there has to be because first of all, you know, women are getting more power anyway. But you don't want to just reproduce it by having women bullying other people around. There's a kind of an abuse of power that I think hopefully would be called out. And obviously, anything further than that, then you know, it's just that's criminal. Hopefully, that'll be.